guys in this session let us discuss what are the different types of programming languages available so guys we generally have three types of programming language let me list them the first one machine level programming language or it is also known as low level language second one assembly level language or it is also known as mid level language finally a high level programming language so what is all these three things let us quickly have a small discussions on each and every topic so to start with a machine understandable language very simple a language which is easily understandable and readable and executable by a machine is known as a machine understandable language so which language does a machine understand yes i have an example it is known as a binary language so why is it binary very simple because binary the meaning of binary is two so binary language has two representations one is zero and the other one is one so whatever instructions you will have to write everything should be written only using zeros and ones oh my god for example i just want to say a message i love you to the machine i would have to write an instruction 0110101001000 and so on oh my god guys trust me you would never propose anyone if this is the language okay but anyways jokes apart now let me come here so from this what you actually understand is a machine level language is quite easy and friendly for a machine but it is quite difficult for a human like you and me to use and write instructions i hope you understood what is a machine level language therefore slowly they came up with the next evolution we normally call it as an assembly level language so in this assembly level language we came up with few words and these words are developed for general activities instructions that we perform for example i need to perform addition of two numbers instead of writing instructions in zeros and ones i have one predefined word called as add add which helps me to perform addition the same way i want to move data from one memory location to another memory location i can write with the help of a word called as mov in the same way for all general instructions i have one predefined word that has been developed okay so this is known as the instruction set and all these words are known as mnemonics got it so now guys do you think these mnemonics or these instructions are easily executable by the machine no not at all hence we have one software developed and that software is known as an assembler so what is the job of an assembler the assembler will convert these words into zeros and ones which a machine can understand and then we can execute it hence this instructions or this language is known as an assembly level language i hope you understood what is an assembly level language but do you think this language gives a complete comfort or the flexibility for the programmers to develop huge business applications like flipkart facebook etc not at all so as the days goes on obviously things gets evolved and people were always trying to go to their comfort zone so there was group of communities which started to develop a programming language which is very much simple similar and a common language that is used so generally in western side the most common language that was used was english so they decided to develop a language which is very much similar and common like english and that category of language we generally call it as a high level programming language which is very easy readable understandable instructable by the programmers so such a language is known as a high level programming language 
So let me give you a few of the examples for high level programming language like I have C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, HTML, PHP, etc. All these are high level programming languages. Is that clear guys? Now, the final conclusion I would love to give here is, do you think, now I write an instruction using Java. Do you think your computer will easily understand and execute it? No, not at all. Therefore, the community which develops the high-level programming language, it is their responsibility to develop a software. It could be either a compiler or an interpreter. I know what you guys are thinking. What is a compiler or an interpreter? Simple, don't worry too much about this terminology. So they have to develop the software and this compiler or interpreter will easily take the high level programming language as input. It will translate them into a machine understandable language. That's all. So guys, I would like to add one more interesting point over here is in this high level programming language, we can further classify into two categories, which is known as a procedure oriented language and an object oriented programming language. Got it? So here, C is a procedure oriented language and Java is an object oriented language. The examples. Got it guys? So that is all about the types of programming language. Thank you. Bye bye. See you all in the next session. Visit Skillery.com to know in detail about Java and Java related courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, subscribe to Skillery's YouTube channel. Click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.